Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, statement of the government of Western Armenia, construction of a new residential quarter in Noragyuk of Artsakh continues. The Ombudsman of Armenia presented to UN officials the problems of the families of Armenian captives and missing people held in Azerbaijan. As a result of war in Artsakh, 215 settlements come under the occupation of Azerbaijan. The Ombudsman of Artsakh. Today is the day of memory of Sogomon Tehlerian. The popular volume, The Handwritten Heritage of Artsakh and Utik, was presented to the readers. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The government of Western Armenia informs that a number of our compatriots who were expelled from the city of Shushi, confiscated by Azerbaijan after the 44th day war in 2020, and left homeless and without means of livelihood, have addressed Western Armenia. Back in 2021, Western Armenia adopted a law on the status of Artsakh and the regulation of relations between Western Armenia and Artsakh, which notes that Artsakh is a province of Western Armenia with broad autonomy and its own executive bodies. The protest led us to the Presidents of Shushi addressed to our government and their request to bring them to high authorities, such as the European Court, will be taken into account by us in the coming days, and after the final formulation of the protest will be sent to the European Court. Our government assures all its citizens and our compatriots that it will always follow the protest and legitimate demands of every Armenian and all citizens of Western Armenia in connection with the violation of their rights and problems of nativeness. We will not allow any state organization or individual to cause physical, moral or material damage to our citizens, regardless of their religious and ethnic affiliation. On the territory of the community of Noragyuk in the Askeran region, work continues on the construction of a new residential quarter. This is reported by the Ministry of Urban Development of the Republic of Artsakh. According to the source, the block will consist of 145 residential buildings. At the first stage, work is underway on the construction of 19 mansions, 60 of which are planned to be handed over by the end of this year. At this stage, various works are underway on the construction site, earthwork construction of foundations, laying of walls and installation of roofs. The development of the quarter is financed by the government of Republic of Artsakh. The contractor is Kapavor LLC. On May 20, human rights defender Kristina Grigorian received the chief advisor on human rights in the South Caucasus of the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Vladimir Shkolnikov and the head of the Office of the UN Parliament Coordinator in Armenia, Denis Samp. According to the Office of Human Rights Defender of the Republic of Armenia, taking into account the commonality of mandates, Vladimir Shkolnikov expressed readiness to assist the human rights defenders of Armenia within the framework of activities and further deeper Corporation. Defender Kristina Grigorian presented to Vladimir Shkolnikov the priorities identified within the framework of his mandate and also touched upon the problems of Armenian captives of war and civilians, families of missing people held in Azerbaijan. The message reads. As a result of military actions unleashed by Azerbaijan against the Republic of Artsakh, on September 27, 2020, 118 communities of Republic of Artsakh completely and two communities partially or a total of 215 settlements come under the occupation of Azerbaijan. About 1,400,000 people were forcibly deported from their settlements. Human Rights Defender of Republic of Artsakh, Geram Stepanyan, published the data in the National Assembly of Republic of Artsakh. During the year, the Human Rights Defender staff monitored the institutions of centralized residents of displaced people, collected problems and submitted them to state authorized bodies. Despite the large-scale efforts made by the state, internally displaced people continue to face a shortage of housing, apartments, and justified refusal of certain social assistance programs, bureaucratic delays in the restoration of lost documents, and a number of other issues. Sogomon Taylorian was born on April 2, 1896, in the village of Nerkin Bagarich in the Gerzenga province of Western Armenia. From 1898-1919, the Taylorian family moved to Bagarich to the Armenian-populated town of Gerzenga. 
Sogomon Taylor and studied at a central gymnasium. 18 year old Sogomon moved to Serbia in 1914, the beginning of the 1915, together with a group of Armenian young people living in Balkans. Sogomon came to Tbilisi, where he joined the first Armenian volunteer detachment of Commander Andranik. He participated in a battles of Sepu army consisting of 250 people. In June 1915, Taylor and together with Armenian volunteers entered Van and witnessed the deportation of local. Armenians. He, along with thousands of Armenian refugees, arrived in Igdid, then from there to Yerevan. In 1916, Sogomon came to Yerzenga, which at that time was captured by Russian troops, with the belief that he would find the lost members of his family. However, only the daughter of his older brother, Misak, survived from the family of 85 people. Filled with revenge, Teledan shot former Turkish interior minister Talyat in Berlin on March 15, 1921. Later, he was arrested by German police. As a result of some facts and evidence, on June 3, 1921, a German court in Berlin acquitted Sogomon Taylerian. The devoted son of Armenian people died on May 23, 1916, San Francisco, USA. The volume of manuscripts, the handwritten heritage of Artsakh and Dutik, which summarizes more than 100 paintings and popular scientific materials, is aimed at popularizing the rich but unfamiliar medieval written heritage of Artsakh. The authors of the research work in English are Hra Vartakopian, Tamara Minasian, and Vahe Torosian. Although the subject of book itself refers to the handwritten heritage of Artsakh and Dutik, the first chapter briefly touches on the political history of Artsakh and Dutik, the Church of Aghvan, the history of Catholicos of Aghvan, we present from antiquity for the first half of the 19th century. It is important to emphasize the problem of the border of Greater Armenia with the Aghvan itself, which as foreign and Armenian sources very clearly wrote and recorded was the Kur River. We raise this reality and also present the period when the history of Artsakh and Dutik was under Arab rule, the regions of Bagratuni Kingdom, Zakarian regions of Armenia, and some of the Meliks of Artsakh, Vahet Orosian said. Dear compatriots, patriotic sons of Western Armenia, the leadership of Western Armenia remaining true to its ideas and principles continues to present various events related to our history, present and future of our country to you in a new way through television and online platforms. We inform the political and public events of the government and also gives you the opportunity to communicate with each other more closely. Through our television, you can establish direct communication with the government and members of National Assembly. You can raise issues on concern to you that are directly related to Western Armenia and its citizens. You can also make various interesting proposals. We want to remind you that our television is not engaged in self-promotion, but wants to further expand its capabilities and connections. Your support is victory for all of us. Together we can do more. Now musical part, Armenian spiritual song, Mahitar Sebastati and Charin Khoran. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.